I don't know about you, but hey, we are in a weird time. And you know what you know you know what in the world the West Virginia Rough Riders are doing? Trying to hold an alumni game in July. Now, there's been very few things that have been, you know, going off about it um, and everything like that. But the few pieces of information that I do have from it, um, you know, they, you know, they got their Facebook up, um, and it was yesterday when they announced they were going to do an alumni game. You know, their coach Mook Zimmerman, you know, who's supposed who's supposed to be retired, by the way, isn't he? Isn't he supposed to be retired? You know, and you know, Greg Fonario and company. You know they they decided, hey, we're gonna do this anyway. We're gonna do we're gonna do a um, alumni game, an alumni exhibition game, and you know maybe get a couple more home games out here, in July and June and August, you know, and stuff like that. So that begs the question, you know, what in the world happened to HMG? What in the world happened to them? Or are, are because there's been conflicting reports about that as well. You know, some sources, I, I remember I even had a video out on it, you know, about a couple weeks or so back, you know, that said West Virginia got sold to HMG. So what in the world's going on there as far as, you know, who, who in the world owns the team right now? And, 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 you know, I've seen all sorts of stuff, you know, about how Greg Bernard is a con man, you know, you know, so like from one guy, from one guy in particular, and that page knows who he is. You know, hopefully he doesn't call me out on it because I mean, I don't, I only I only check the C, you know, to get some information, to get some sources from this guy. You know, um, but he knows who he is. Um, who called? He called Greg Bernard <laughs> a bunch of names. You know. And, you know, it, it does beg the question, is this a cash grab? Is this something, because remember, West Virginia was supposed to go dormant for 2021. That means nothing, not playing, nothing at all. So it begs the question, you know, what is the purpose of this alumni game? Because they are selling tickets right now, as, as right now as we speak. Um, a limited number of tickets, though. Uh, but it begs the question, what in the world is going on with West Virginia, you know, and, you know, things are looking kind of dicey right now, things are looking kind of weird right now, again, we don't know what they're going to be sold, don't, don't know if they even are being sold, you know, like, again, there's, again, there's been conflicting stuff about that, have they been sold? To HMG and company, Will Hanna and all those guys out there that own the Baltimore Lightning, or it, it was that uh, a complete piece of you know garbage article you know that was announced. So I don't I don't know I don't really I really don't know what in the world's going on there, but I will say this is a awful idea. Again, I've been adamant about you know indoor football not starting up this year and waiting until 2022. But we're gonna, we're apparently just gonna do it anyway. We're gonna try it anyway, and because I mean, trying to do indoor football in a climate such as COVID nineteen is about as disastrous as you might think. You think there's gonna be no fans now? There really isn't. There, there literally isn't going to be any fans. No money from, no money from that. Not at all. But yeah, that'll, that'll pretty much do it here. Um, Comment down below. See see what you think. Cause I, I really don't know what's going on. I don't know what's going on. I really don't.